Alrighty, so uh, if you start by saying your first and last name and mm -hmm. your title, and you just look at me, forgive the cameras. Mm -hmm. My name is Jarvis Morgan. I'm the superintendent of Streets and Drainage of the city of Shreveport. Okay, and so uh, people complain about the potholes. How often do you guys go out and patch up potholes? Uh, we patch potholes every single day. Every single day we're working on potholes. Um, unfortunately, the budget doesn't allow us to come in and replace every single pothole, but whenever we get calls about it, we do send people out immediately and try to repair it as soon as possible. And so, as far as a, a budget, you guys get a, a, a yearly budget? Just yes, ma'am. We do get a set amount of a, a yearly budget to be able to go out and patch uh, however many potholes we could within that budget. Uh, normally, it's uh, emergency type things only because of the, the amount that's in the budget, but we do have a budget set aside to uh, get as much done as we can. We have an infrared truck that we normally use for uh, hot mix-wise, that's uh, asphalt. What we do is we send the infrared truck out and what the infrared truck does is burn a hole inside the asphalt part of the concrete and it's open it up and that way we can patch it and it'll be stabilized much better. And so uh, that's when we see the, the, the dark black. Yes, ma'am. When you see that, that's what we call our dig outs. So those normally are caused by uh, corrosions under the ground, like uh, probably a water leak or something like that. Because the piping system is so, is so old, we have water leak problems and we have to come back and repair. Uh, we work well with the water department to try to get these problems on the way. What causes, uh, you know, potholes? Uh, it could be just high volumes of traffic. It could be underground-wise, uh, probably uh, water selling underground, anything like that. It's just basically it depends on um, the area. It could be traffic. It could be water underground. It could be just the water, just asphalt, just crumbling and selling. It's a variety of things. But normally those are the top three problems that we normally have. And so is there like an estimated budget of how much you guys spend yearly on potholes? Um, yes, we spend somewhere in between, uh, probably, I don't know the exact amount, so I don't want to give a number and kind of be wrong about it, but it is a fairly high amount of what we spend on piles, and that's labor, material, and everything. And so, uh, what's some solutions to this problem? Uh, the only solutions that we have is just to repair it, because it's concrete, it's going to break, that's, it's not... Uh, something that will last forever. There's no actual solution on um, to fixing it. We just have to go out and try to advise and figure out the best way to kind of keep it at a minimum of what we can do because the piles are going to come back because of the traffic. And so, um, how can people, you know, report, you know, a bad pothole in their area? Mm -hmm. Some uh, neighborhoods that I went in today, they say the cones have been up for a while and it's. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been fixed yet. We have a direct line that can call 6318-673-6330. That's the actual line to streets and drainage. And someone will get your information and we'll take a look at it as soon as we can. Uh, normally, with potholes being that it's so severe, we send someone right out right away, whether that's at night or anytime we have on-call personnel that go out and take a look at them in the middle of the night just to make sure that people are safe in our right of ways. And uh, last question here. Um, if if someone's car gets damaged because of a pothole, is that the city's responsibility or the, the person's? Well, it's depending. Um, that's something that we handle, uh, our risk department handles, and they take a look at it and get an investigation going. Just depends on the the severity of the pothole, what's, you know, if anyone reported it or anything like that. But that's something the risk department handles, and they'll take care of their situation. All they do is just advise us about it, and we go out and fix it. Alrighty, is there anything else that you'd like to add here? No, ma'am. Alrighty, thank you. See you again soon.